Hello everybody, today I decided that we would go for some more pronghorn because I still need to find an albino It's something that I have been wanting ever since the map was announced So I figured that we would go look for that today now I have not found that but there is a couple decent level fours here that we need to take down This is one of those cool dark variations, so I for sure want to get in on the ground But let's see if we can't get them down right now That should be two dead pronghorn. And there they go. So we got those two down. Hopefully by the end of this video we'll be able to find an albino, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take. It seems to be a lot more rare than the piebald variants. I see quite a few people post the piebalds, but I have only seen one albino get posted, so it seems to be pretty rare. Really hoping we can come across one, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Alright, so here's that dark fur variation pronghorn. This is actually a pretty nice looking one. I'm very happy with this. Hopefully, it'll score decent. 87.40. That's not too bad. It's not a monster, but definitely nice. I think we'll keep him for now. Because I don't have a dark fur variation pronghorn in the lodge yet. I definitely want to put this guy in there. That is nice looking. I really think this is the best of the common fur variations. Looks so nice compared to the others. Beautiful. Now let's go get that other one. Alright, here's that other pronghorn. This is just the basic coloration. And it's a much smaller four. But still always good to get these level fours down in hopes of getting something bigger to spawn. So we'll move on to the next lake. Okay, so that right there is a really big level 4. That for sure has to die. Uh, I'm going to have to look at the score again, try to calculate what it's going to score, but this will be very close to diamond. I don't think it'll make diamond, but it'll be very close. Alright, so there's that guy right there. Let's take him while the outline is still available. Okay, he's moving around still quite a bit. That should be a good enough shot to take him down. We can hope at least. He was going to run it seems, so I figure we needed to take the shot. Uh, we actually got some more pronghorn over there. Doesn't look like anything too crazy in that little herd. So we'll go get that 106 max estimate pronghorn. Alright, so it looks like we did drop this guy on the spot. So we had to have hit lungs on him. That is a nice looking pronghorn. That one's going to score pretty well. Let's see exactly what it does score. 94.40. That's a big pronghorn. If it had this size of horn on its left side over here, this would actually probably score diamonds. This one was very close. Very good one to get down. I really like that. That's really cool. I guess the only thing I'd improve on this one is maybe a little bit longer cutters, but overall this is a good pronghorn. I'd take that any day in real life. My gosh, how did I not see this guy? Well, I'm glad that he didn't spook off because right there is where we just got that level 4. And we have a level 5 over here. How did I not spot this guy before? Uh, where'd he go? Right there. How did we not spot him before? It looks like the same rack that I already have. But let's go ahead and get that guy down for sure. Well, it's not the albino we've been looking for, but that's still really cool. I am so happy with that. I am so happy with finding that. Hopefully it'll look a little bit different than the one that we've got. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh, that's a piebald too. What is this lake? This lake is insane. This is going to be quite a long shot, but... And we got him down. That is insane. 
there's a level five and a piebald over th at this lake. That is crazy. All right, so here's that level five. I think this one is a little bit different than what we had before. Uh, let's just see if this guy makes diamond. I didn't really take the time to calculate what the score was, but... All right, there we go. Got a quick picture of that guy. Uh, let's claim him right here. This is probably the best spot. And it is a diamond. 104.10. That's actually a big diamond. That is a really nice one. I think this is bigger than the one we already have. That is so cool. Uh, I'm not sure which one we're going to keep in the main diamond room. I think we're going to replace the one we already had with this guy because this one seems bigger. This one definitely seems like it's a bigger pronghorn. That is awesome. Let's go check out that piebald now. Alright, so here's that piebald. Uh, we did already find a piebald with this pattern on it. I'm not sure when that video is going to be going out, so if it comes out after this one, uh, it might not make sense, but I did already get one of these guys, but there's a chance this video might go out before that one because of uh, Twitch's 24-hour uh, exclusivity stuff. So... This is still pretty cool. This is the second one we've killed of this pattern, and I'm starting to wonder if the piebalds maybe aren't as rare as what we originally thought because I've seen quite a few of these and I see a lot of people posting them. So I am starting to think that maybe the piebalds aren't that rare at all, but that's still pretty cool. I always enjoy getting them. I'd like to get a level four piebald, but so far we've only seen a two and a three with this particular particular pattern. But we'll tax that for sure, get it in the lodge, and we'll keep our grind going. Because I still need that albino, and I want to see if there's any other variations. I heard somebody talking about maybe a leucistic being in the game, so we'll have to see if we can find that, if it is a thing. Ooh, there is another piebald. And it is running away. Let's see if we can get her down. That should have connected? We'll see, though. I think that should have connected, though. Okay, so that shot definitely did not kill it. I'm not exactly sure where it is. Is this her? Maybe? No, that's definitely not her. Okay, that actually might be one, too. I can't tell. Well, that kind of explains why we missed that other one. We were zeroed at 300. I completely forgot to change it off of that. But let's go see what this one is. Because I feel like this might be a piebald too. And if it is, then these guys are definitely not rare. But hopefully that's just a bug. Oh my gosh. Is that a leucistic? That might be a leucistic. I've been chasing around these pronghorn trying to find that piebald, and we just found a leucistic bison because of it. Take that down real quick. Well, that's not exactly what I was looking for, but I mean, I can't complain there. Because it's still a rare. That's pretty awesome. Getting led to rares we didn't even come here to find. Yep, for sure looks leucistic. And it is. Female leucistic bison. We did brain shot it, but... That is fine. It's just a level 1 female anyway. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And now hopefully we can get this pronghorn. Because I've been chasing it around for quite a while now. That's actually a different piebald. But I think I'd rather get that one anyway. I might have just messed it up though. I think we possibly brain shot it. But it's hard to tell. But I think that could have been a brain shot. I'm hoping it was a neck shot instead. But that's cool. A level 3 piebald male. This one could be gold if we didn't screw it up. But based off that shot, there's a good chance it did get screwed up sadly. But I'd say that the piebalds definitely are not rare, because that's the third one. 
that I've seen in just this one session alone. So let's see. What does this guy score? Ah, uh, we did damage the trophy organ by hitting it in the skull and jaw. But it would have only been a silver anyway. It wasn't quite to gold, so that's okay. We got two piebald pronghorn, and there's still one on the loose. Uh, I'm probably not going to go for it now because it is spooked off and has ran away. But we'll probably get it at a later date. Unless it's coming in right now, which it actually might be. Because we do have some pronghorn running back here. So I'm going to get positioned in a better spot and then wait for them to come here. Okay, there she is. There's that piebald that we were after. So she did come back. So let's get her down. And that should do the trick. All right, so here's that piebald female. This is probably the cooler of the piebald variations. I wish I could find a male with this color though. Because as of now, I've just seen females with this piebald variation, but I know you can get males because there's been a couple posted in the Hunter's Discord. So we know that they can be male with this piebald variation. I'd really like to get one of those. Because right now we just have a couple females with this variation on it. But that is still pretty cool. It's kind of sad that it seems these piebalds are like the piebald axis where they're just a lot more common than other piebalds of different species, but it still looks good and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. I would, however, like it if they made them a little bit more rare. Would probably make it more rewarding when you do find a nice one. But for now, this is okay. We'll just have to roll with whatever they decide to do. But that is three piebalds and a diamond within the last hour and a half or so of hunting. So that's not too bad. That's a good day of pronghorn hunting. So let's go to the lodge and check these guys out. All right, so here is the biggest of the pronghorn. I don't have any full body mounts that I can really put this guy on, so he'll just have to stay here for now. I'm probably going to think about starting a new lodge soon because we're starting to get pretty full. We've got pretty much every room filled with stuff that I'm not really going to replace anytime soon. Besides like a few small plaques like this, but those are pretty easily fillable with ducks and stuff. So I think what we'll do is within the next week or two, we'll start up a new lodge and start the grind for trophies again because we're pretty much full here. Besides, like I said, the smaller plaques, but what we'll do is we'll anytime we get a duck or a rabbit or something, we'll just throw it in this lodge and then anything else will go in a new lodge. But I'm not sure when we'll start that up, but whenever we do, I will let you guys know. But so that's that's this guy right here. Now we'll go check out that diamond next. All right, so this is the diamond that we just got, the 104. Point one, and as you can see it's got really long cutters and this guy right here is are a little bit shorter and they curl in so they definitely are different and I like that a lot I would like to get one of the ones that has the straight horns but so far no luck there we've just found the ones with the curled tops that are very curled in but they still look really good and I'm super happy with the pronghorn. I think they're by far one of the nicest looking models in the game when it comes to the bodies, the textures, and the horns. They all look really good. They have some really nice true racks I've noticed too. They, like there's a ton of variation which is pretty awesome. Seems to be at least three or four different racks that can make diamond which is something I wish all species had. As of now there's only a few that have at least three racks that can make diamond. But that is pretty awesome. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but we're going to go ahead and end it here. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. And be sure to like the video because it helps push my videos out to other potential viewers. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace, my dudes.